what's going on everybody welcome back welcome back welcome back to the channel this is t mcneil if this is indeed your first time here make sure that you guys like comment and hit that subscribe button as it says down below and a brother gonna get back to you also if you're looking for the latest information sneaker news reviews updates etc trust me guys this is the place to be all right y'all so what's going on with y'all tonight on this saturday man it's raining out here in my state of maryland and uh in midst of the said virus and global pandemic because as i stated to you guys before i can't say it because they're going to uh well youtube algorithms pretty much is going to catch the word from said country and said virus and they're going to demonetize the video all right y'all so that's obviously something that i don't want to happen so you guys already know what I'm talking about. Everybody's in the house. You know, people, like I said, going to these stores, man, they pretty much cleaning the shelves off of toilet paper, water, hand sanitizer, etc. Uh, they want all this social distancing. So this is just the state of the world right now, bro. And I think at the end of the day, we're going to get through it. All right. So I want to talk to you guys tonight. I don't know if you guys actually seen these joints, but they're calling these the Air Jordan 1 Mid Composition Notebook. Yes, that's the name of them because they are actually very reminiscent of a composition notebooks like we used to get back in school. All right, y'all. And let me know down below if the kids are still using the composition notebooks. I think they are. Um, you know, it is what it is, man. But them things I know back in the day used to be like dirt cheap. OK, I'm not sure what the cost of them are now, but uh, yeah, they actually mimic the Air Jordan 1 off of the same type of design all right y'all and what's cool about these shoes the fact that um as the spring break is approaching which technically all the kids right now are on a extended break because of said virus from said country um you know it's kind of like the timing has lined up pretty much for this particular shoe okay now the last video that i made guys i talked about uh possible delays well not even possible delays they actually are delays of the air jordan um, retros okay y'all it was several on that video so as i stated as the days and and, and the months go on we're probably going to get more retros or more jordans period that's going to be delayed so these i don't see any information about delays as of yet so they should be coming out uh when they're supposed to come out now here's the deal actually there is no official release date for the shoes anyway okay y'all so just stay tuned and keep it locked uh as that information becomes available i will let you guys know down below in the comment section or in a separate video all right y'all but yeah they're calling the edge on one mid composition notebooks um again like i said no release date there's also no price point as well okay so just stay tuned like i said i got you guys as soon as that information uh becomes available all right so Let's go ahead on and um, actually take a look at them, man. It's part of the sneaker news deal. And uh, let's get you guys thoughts and opinions on So let's put them on up right there so you guys can see it for yourself. Yes, you do have the Edge One Mid Composition Notebook. And what immediately stands out to me, guys, is you got the lime green iconic Balls and Wings logo right there. You've got your individual stitching on the upper of the shoe coming in with the white leather panels. Okay, you got blacked out eyelids as well. You have a also a leather white quarter panel on the side of the shoe. Uh, you have your orange leather. You have your white Nike swoosh. And on top of that, you do have on the back heel base of the shoe, your black leather as well. But right underneath of that iconic Balls and Wings logo and underneath of that white uh, leather panel is where you have the composition notebook look. That was the whole point of the shoe in the first place okay now it's not a lot of composition notebook styling on this particular shoe but i'm not mad at that um they just gave it a little bit of a style when it comes to that you know i, I probably would have rather than put it uh more on the shoe okay in different areas of the shoe maybe instead of the orange leather maybe they could have made that also uh in the composition style but you know the, the nike jordan brand you know the designers they know what they're doing and uh overall it's a very clean and a very fun looking shoe okay y'all and it's also very stylish as well simply because of the colorway okay it's very summertime you know it's very springtime so i think that was a very unique way for them to release it especially right now again considering the fact of that particular colorway i mean it's, it just screams summer okay y'all now um, you got white shoestrings on there as well. 
What we can see also, you got a white leather tongue. You do have a blacked out Jumpman logo plastered on the front of the tongue. And the toe box area, of course, as all Air Jordan ones has the iconic air hole vents. And they coming in that white leather. Okay, y'all, so it's very, very clean. And, um, you know, I'm definitely feeling them joints, okay? Now, if we flip it around, um, you know, same ordeal, guys. You do have, again, the Nike swoosh coming in the, in the white leather. You got your orange leather. Again, you got your upper of the shoe. The panels up there is also white leather. You got blacked out eyelids that also come in leather. You got your quarter panels coming in white leather. You know, pretty much the same thing, y'all. The midsole, as all typical Air Jordan ones come, is always white, usually anyway. Only time you probably can get a black midsole is if, you know, if you go for like an Air Force One or something like that. But typically, it's always going to be uh, coming in that white colorway. All right, y'all. Now, looking at the top of these joints real quick. Now, this is where things get a little more interesting for me. I definitely like the, the different colors in the shoe liners. You got one being orange, one coming in that lime green, or some people may call it vault green. Either way, you know, it, it definitely works, okay? Now, you do have um, a blacked out interior as well, coming with the soft cloth. And, um, you know, again, you've got two Jumpman logos in each shoe, okay, coming in black. So I think that looks good. Um, no, really, not really too much of a need to mess with that too much. But what I do like also, guys, the fact that uh, how they kind of mix and match the colors. Now, on the left side of your screen, guys, or technically the right shoe, you have the orange shoe liner, but it contrasts with the lime green uh, side panels, okay, y'all? And then on the other side of the screen, guys, you got your the right side, or technically the left shoe, coming with the lime green, and then you have your orange tabs on the outer portion, guys. So again, Nice little touch coming from the Nike brand. You know, I'm, I'm definitely feeling that, man, all right? Now, rear of the shoe, real quick, y'all. You know, you definitely can see, you know, a lot of stylistic points that the Jordan brand has used on this particular shoe. Um, you definitely have, you know, a black, well, not, not really a black, but you have a white uh, backside on the tongue, so I'm definitely feeling that. Um, you got more of that composition styling at the very top of the midsole panel, so I'm loving that a lot. Moving on down to the middle of the shoe, you got all individual stitching there as well. And on top of that, if you guys look on the left shoe, you have your lime green Balls and Wings logo, and then on the right shoe, you got your orange Balls and Wings logo. But then, as you move on down again, they've contrasted the colors again. So now, on the left side, you've got your lime green and orange combination. On the right side, you got your orange and lime green combination. So I'm definitely loving that. And on top of that, um, you know, the back heel base of the shoe again comes in the black leather. And they have did it again on the outsole of the very bottom of the shoe as well. How they contrast the colors again. Left shoe has an orange, okay, to kind of contrast <clears throat> against the lime green balls and wings logo. And then the right shoe has your lime green to contrast with the orange logo. All right, y'all, coming in with the balls and wings, man. So I'm, I'm definitely feeling these joints, man. And uh, you guys let me know what you think, all right? And then finally, you know, um, we got one image, at least of uh, maybe one side of the shoe here, guys. Primarily, we're talking about the left shoe. Looks pretty good, coming in all orange. All right, y'all, so just a real quick look at these uh, Air Jordan 1 mid uh, compositions. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about them, man. I, you know, I, I really think that the Composition Notebook is going to be a great shoe. Um, I know sometimes I get questions about whether or not these are going to come in different sizes, like, you know, uh, adults, well, of course, adult sizes, but are they going to come in grade school sizes? Are they going to come in, uh, you know, big kid sizes? Are they going to come in the toddler sizes, etc.? okay? So it doesn't really say right now this is going to be uh, like a full family size for this particular shoe is just pretty much the adult size right now so if something does change with that or some information comes out about yeah they will be grade school they will be toddler sizes etc i'll definitely let you guys know but um this is be a cool shoe especially for the summertime it just screams like i said the spring it, it, it screams nice weather and at the end of the day that's the time of the year that you want to rock these joints anyway all right so like I said, if you guys have any comments and questions, y'all leave it down below. A brother get back to you. Like I said, do not forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. And finally, guys, do not forget to tap that bell symbol. So that way you're always in the loop 
you know, every time I put up new content on the DC show, you guys will be the first to get the notification. All right, y'all. So I appreciate you guys watching, listening, and tuning in. Until the next time, make sure that y'all have a good one. And as always say, stay safe.